Today I'm going to be taking down this old Dawa camera right here. It's a uh, three megapixel Vandal Dome. Um, image looks really good during the day, but at night it's just terrible. A lot of glare, and uh, I think what's happened is the inside of the domes got dirty. Um, I think the gasket's kind of worn out. That separates the uh, IR from the lens. So I'm going to replace it with this five megapixel R series Vandal Dome. Really like these cameras. This is one of my favorite new, like all purpose cameras. As you can see, I painted this camera. And if you're interested on how I painted it, you can search our video, how to paint security cameras. Kind of interesting, really easy to do. But uh, let's go ahead and take this one down and replace it with this one, see what it looks like. Okay, I got the camera part here. Um, as you can see, this plate just popped right off. It was real easy. Um, this plate's gonna come in real handy. Um, number one, it serves as a mounting plate. I love the idea of mounting plates on security cameras. All I'm gonna do is mount this plate up on the surface, and then I'm gonna snap this camera back into place and you know set the little set screw, and then I'm good to go. So I don't like the idea on some cameras where you actually have to hold up the camera and screw it into place. I'm always afraid I'm gonna drop the camera when I do that, or my power drill's gonna screw up the camera module or something like that. So. I like the, the idea of a mounting plate. Number two, this thing acts as a junction box. As you can see, there's a lot of space in here, and this is where you're gonna store all your cable junctions. It's gonna, it's gonna make it look real pretty. It's gonna keep your cable junctions weatherproofed, so that's really nice. And um, as you can see, it comes with two incoming cable hole sizes. And um, that's really cool, especially if you wanna use this in commercial um, scenarios. A lot of people use conduit running into junction boxes on their, on their security cameras. And you see that quite a bit on, on commercial scenarios. This gives you two options on what size conduit you wanna use. I measured the diameters of the holes. The bigger one is one inch and the smaller one is three quarter inch in diameter. So gives you some options on what you wanna do. But um, let's say you're gonna do what I'm gonna do is, and not use conduit at all. It comes with these weatherproofing grommets that plugs the holes up and you know keeps all your cable connections fully weatherproofed. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bigger hole today. So it comes with a, a, a grommet for each hole size. So. I really think this is gonna be real easy to install, so let's go ahead and install it. got it all installed it was uh, fairly easy um, you know one thing I wish I would have done is um, put that big weather grommet on before I screwed the plate up uh, it's no big deal you know you learn things when you install cameras and hopefully you learn from my mistake but other than that it was real simple um, real easy to install um, I like the way it looks it looks a lot better you can barely see the camera actually when you're walking in here on the sidewalk here so that looks good and one thing I noticed is I got a really wide shot um, when I was positioning with the little cell phone app, I actually had almost pointed at this cedar tree because I was getting a lot of this, um, this rock right here and I wanted to capture as much as, much as I could. So 
looks really good. Um, let's go see what it looks like with the full five megapixel image. Here's the daytime image, a much better improvement over the last camera, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, very good image. The only thing that tree is right in the way, which I think is going to cause some nighttime issues. It's going to block out a lot of my IR, but no worries. I think we can fix some of the image settings to make it look optimal. So let's take a look at the nighttime, and there it is. Um, so this is still a better improvement over my last camera. I still think we can get a better image. Um, unfortunately, that cedar tree is blocking a lot of my IR. I think if that cedar tree wasn't there, I wouldn't have to do anything to the camera at all. It would look perfect. But since that's there, I'm going to have to mess with the BLC settings and probably the WDR settings to see more and illuminate past that cedar tree a little bit, because right now that cedar tree is kind of you know, blinding everything out and you can't see anything past it. We can we can adjust the settings though to make it look better. So first I'm gonna try messing with the BLC settings. Here's the BLC settings cranked up all the way on the camera and um, it looks okay. You know, I can see a lot better past the tree, but it's just blinding everything out. And I don't think it's, that's not what I'm looking for. I think if a person walks by, their face will be blinded out. So I'm gonna try messing with the WDR settings to see what that does. So here's the WDR settings turned on, on all the way, cranked all the way up, and the BLC settings are off. Um, so we're not getting the blind out, blinding out effect, and we're seeing a little bit past the tree a little better, but you're getting that weird funkiness, um, the sensor's having some issues at the top right and the top part of the image. So I'm going to try playing with BLC and WDR, which I'm doing here right there. Um, I got the BLC and WDR both turned on, got them cranked down a little little less than they were, and I think this is the image I'm looking for. That's the perfect image. I think I'm going to be happy with that, so I'm going to leave it like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the comparison images between the previous camera and this camera. <laughs> gave you a good idea on how easy it was to install this dome camera here. Um, it was very easy. Um, I hope it gave you a good idea on how the uh, both the daytime and nighttime image is, which I think was very exceptional. Um, but this is one of our more popular selling cameras right now. Um, Vandal domes traditionally have always been one of our most popular selling cameras and this is becoming one of our more popular selling Vandal domes. And a few factors um, come into play. At number one, probably the most important, the price on it is fantastic. For a five megapixel Vandal Dome IP camera, you can't beat the price on this thing. Number two, um, it's easy to install. As you saw, it, it's great for both commercial and residential applications. That built-in junction box is just a nice feature. Uh, you know, if you install cameras, if you installed a lot of cameras, you begin to like little things like that. So um, number three, the, the image quality on it's terrific, both day and night. Um, very crisp image quality. Uh, you know, especially at night, sometimes on Vandal Domes you get that IR glare. Um, I didn't see that on this camera at all. Um, now you saw it on my previous um, Dawa camera, you know, granted the, the inside of the dome was dirty, but even when that dome was clean, I still saw a little bit of IR glare. With this camera, I didn't see any at all. It was very crisp, so. Um, I really liked it. I think you're going to like it too. If you have any questions at all, you can feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to help you or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.